Thanks, Mr. Ross. And Mrs. Flynn. And we're working on other volumes of solids. And this one's dealing with, we're given a rectangular prism. Oh, there's a typo. That should be pyramid. <laughs> that has a volume of 0.126 liters. Find the height. It says, be careful of the units. Well, the volume's in liters, and yet our base dimensions are in millimeter. So we need to do something about that well, to find the height. We all know that in one liter, there is 1,000 cubic centimeters. Oh, nice. So let's just switch this. Let's make everything in the centimeters kind of That'd be unit. easy. Okay, so if we're going to change that, I just set up a proportion. To go, that's equal to 0. 0.126 liters. We equals can just to make x. x cross multiply. So we get x to be times 1,000. Uh, 126. 126 cubic centimeters. So that's our new volume. Right. Nice. Okay. So well, that's, let's switch this to all centimeters. Right. So the, if millimeters to centimeters, we just move the decimal place over one, so it's nine centimeters. And this one is six. That's good. Easy convenient. enough. Okay. Since we're dealing with volume, let's write out our formula. Our volume for a rectangular pyramid is one third area of base times height. Now substitute in your values. All right, so volume is 126. And one third, our base area is 6 times 9, and the length times the width. Times. And we're solving for height, which is why it's unknown. All right, okay. So let's see. I can do let's, this right here I know is 2. Right. So 2 times 9, this is 18H on this side. 126 over here. Divide by 18. Looking good. Feeling good about mm, this one. That one I don't know by heart. Divide by 18. 8 is 7. Oh, I always like it when it's a nice answer, too. 7 centimeters. And just in case they wanted it back in millimeters, since that they gave it to us in, we could say it's or 70 millimeters. Sweet. All okay. right. Quick and easy. That's it.